What's happening, Cigars Daily Nation? It is almost Christmas, and today I want to take you inside the cigar industry for 2022. Watch this video on CigarsDailyPlus.com. I am adding extra content to videos, extra coupon codes, and everything I can to always make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. So today, I am not in my office. Obviously, I am in a town called Pine in northern Arizona, where I'm getting a little bit of downtime and a little bit of work done and a little bit of drinking. And so I guess that tilts it to the like downtime side and a little bit less for work, but I've had an amazing year and a lot of great conversations with cigar makers. So I wanted to take you guys inside of sort of what to expect in 2022 from the cigar world as I see it. But first I want to do a couple shout outs. First of all, I am smoking Southern Draws Manzanita, a cigar I cannot stop going back to. And I owe a huge thank you and a huge shout out to the police in Kingsman, Arizona. These guys are keeping my dome warm today because because I came up here and it's like in the 40 degrees weather, which for some of you is not that serious. But for me, this is very serious weather. I have to take it very seriously. I'm worried that I'll freeze to death. But when it comes to the cigar industry in 2022, there's a lot to know. And fortunately, it's set aside from a lot of other industries. We're not going to have some of the same issues in cigars that you're seeing in a lot of industries. Even some of the issues in 2021 may not carry over to 2022. So let me take you through a few of my thoughts and a lot of the stems from conversations that I'm having with brand owners, factory owners, people down in Nicaragua who are actually getting the products made and the people who are actually trying to get them into the United States. So as you go into the new year as a cigar smoker, here's what you got to expect. So the very first thing I think is on the mind of a lot of people, especially if you were trying to get a hold of something this year and couldn't because of availability is Will I be able to find the stuff next year that I really like? This year, we saw a lot of brands trying to catch up with back orders and trying to just pump out enough cigars. And so going into 2022, it's a good news, bad news situation. Going into the new year, we're still going to be seeing some limited availability of certain products. And I've seen this from a lot of brands now. Really what happened in 2021 was really substantial. And even last year in 2020, substantial was that people started working from home and the supply and demand like ratio got blown up like crazy. When COVID started, the supply dropped through the floor as a lot of factories closed. And then as they opened up, people in America were working from home. So the demand ratcheted through the roof and that really hasn't come down a ton. The cigar industry grew a mammoth amount in 2020. And even in 2021, we saw big growth, but going into the new year, cigar makers are having one substantial problem getting enough product made for ravenous cigar smoking Americans. That's really the issue if you're making cigars in Nicaragua or Honduras or the Dominican Republic. People are smoking more cigars than ever. That means that tobacco acquisition, getting enough tobacco to roll if you don't own all the fields, or getting enough people to roll those cigars are both big issues. And then even if you have all the leaf you need and all the rollers you need, getting cigar rings printed out for your cigars or getting boxes made has been a really big issue. Some things I've seen already posted publicly online is stuff like from Steve Saka. His new Still Well Star is crazy popular right now. He has said that he's having trouble getting the boxes made and that's why there's going to be a short delay on those. Although products that just came out at the end of this year, you're going to start to see rolling around probably in quarter one of 2022. I think that a lot of the stuff that we've seen in high shortage through the year is said that it will be arriving in 2021 and typically when they get it arriving, They've also got a plan to follow it up with more cigars for when you smoke the ones you already bought. So I'll say this, if you were having problems with some products last year, I would count on those problem products, maybe even clearing up in quarter one of 2022. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to point at any one brand and say like, hey, this brand is going to reliably put out cigars and this brand is going to have serious back orders in 2022 because I've seen over the last couple of years, there have been brands that have had serious back orders issues that have cleared up. And then other brands that had no back order issues that are now starting to have them. And this is a really big thing. I know this from the cigar industry. All of these brands sort of have a different DNA, a different way that they run. And so the 
They've all got different philosophies about how to do it, how many cigars to make, how many to keep in their warehouse in the United States. And so when it comes to production, they're all going to go about it a different way. And as they do that, they'll encounter different problems at different times. There are cigar brands that I could, I could place an order for as much as I wanted and get everything I wanted in 2020. Some of those brands are the ones that in 2021 I've seen substantial back orders from. But even still, some brands that ran out of cigars in 2020 have figured out the supply chain issue and I'm having very little back order issues with them in 2021. And I count on the same thing happening next year. If you've got a brand you really love that you've been able to find their cigars no matter what, then you very well may be able to find them next year or they may begin to experience backorder issues for the first time. A lot of people are trying to keep up with this and figure it out, like I said. And so as you look into next year, just pay attention to your local brick and mortar shop. What do they have? What are they getting? What are they not able to get a hold of? And is that something that they count on coming sometime soon? For me at Cigars Daily, one of the biggest things of the year was the new releases. And I think that this is one thing going into 2022 that everybody should be aware of and probably appreciate a little bit. In 2022, the government wanted us to not be able to produce new cigars. That was a lot of the aim of some of the ruling of the FDA and what they called their deeming regulations. Some of those things have been delayed. Other things have been overturned. But in short, right now, we see new cigars slated for release in 2022. That was not part of the grand design. And one thing I think we can all be unbelievably appreciative of. As you look at next year, watch for cigar makers who are putting out new cigars, especially if something came out at the end of 2021. There were so many cigars that came out that were really, really great that now you're having a harder time getting a hold of because, well, they're brand new and they just hit the market. You'll see more of those new releases coming around, but also stuff that will just be hitting the market. The brand new blends from the best cigar makers in the industry. And I just wanted to bring this up as a point to sort of say, like, be cognizant of the fact that the design was for you to not be able to do this, for cigar brands to not be able to release new cigars. But because there is some justice left in our justice system, you're still going to see cigars being released all the way through 2022 and probably beyond. But while we're still in this cool period where new cigars can be released, there's one important thing to understand. It goes back to the supply and demand issue. The demand on a brand new cigar that hits the market is higher than the demand on probably any other cigar out there. Established cigars often get overlooked for the brand new stuff. And I know a lot of cigar makers who are talking about stuff coming out in 2022. Guys like uh, Steve Sock has talked about projects. Robert Holt talked about new projects for Southern Draw on Cigars Daily Live last week. War fighters talking about new projects. Just about anyone else out there that is making cigars right now is thinking about what can we add to our catalog while this window of new cigars is open. The problem is producing enough cigars for a release. I have seen this this year is probably the most common thing I've seen. A brand new cigar comes out. I order 50 boxes, sometimes 100 boxes of a brand new cigar. And on my first delivery, I get three boxes five boxes, which on Cigars Daily is about enough to like piss people off. Your first dozen or two dozen customers get something and then the next hundreds and hundreds of whoever comes by, they're like, oh, out of stock. That sucks for me. This is something that I can, I'm, I count on seeing more in 2022. When a cigar first hits the shelves, finding the way to get it on release date, figuring out what that release date's gonna be or how much of it your local brick and mortar shop is gonna get is gonna be a big deal. Because if you wanna try the new cigar from your favorite cigar maker, it may run out relatively quickly. And it's just really, again, has to do with the fact that the supply is here and the demand is somewhere up here. Right now, we're just smoking ravenously. But keep a close eye on the projects that you're really, really excited about or maybe you're one of those people who's like, I just watch the movies after they're in the theaters. You know, I wait until they come out at home. And now, fortunately, everything comes out at home, like when it gets released. But certainly with new cigars, if you want to chase them down the day they get released, make sure you got a plan to do that. Now, we're very fortunate in the cigar industry to not have to deal actually with some issues that other industries do. Perfect example would be shipping products to America from China, right? If you wanted to do that in 2019, a shipping container 
filled with product would cost you like three or four thousand dollars to ship. If you want to do that today, it's going to cost you well over twenty thousand dollars, sometimes twenty five grand. That's like a seven fold increase in just two years beyond ridiculous. And that's on top of the issue that most industries are have just giving like getting products made. They want to get enough products made and then shipping them is ridiculous. In the cigar industry, shipping is pretty reasonable. Like it's more expensive than it's ever been. It's definitely not seven times as expensive as it has been. My last order from the factory in Nicaragua didn't carry anything like a seven fold increase. It just made my jaw drop when I saw the shipping bill, but it was doable. And the good news is a lot of the products we use in the cigar industry do get shipped into Florida where there's not as much of a holdup on shipping, not like what you see in New York and California right now. And so for cigars, the availability should be there if they can get enough cigars made. The downside is a lot of the accessories that you guys love and use they are made in China. Unless you have specifically said, I'm going to buy American made and sought out an American made cigar accessory company, then you're probably going to see some price increases on the stuff that you love and probably some delays in getting stuff here. I think that the last that I saw, there's 101 container ships sitting off the coast of California, which is insane. And if you're looking for cigar accessories, they may be on those ships. And so I'm talking with our accessory suppliers these days and just trying to get a sense of like which way the wind is blowing. To me, that's actually more of the upset of the cigar industry than the actual production of cigars themselves. It's hard to get a hold of some products right now, but anything coming out of China, anything going over the seas in through California or New York has got like a multitude of other issues coming with it. So if you need a lighter or an ashtray or something like that, I'm not saying go out and panic buy. I'm, I'm not advocating that at all. I'm just saying be mindful of getting that stuff and call ahead to your cigar shop before you go over to pick one up. And then one big thing to consider going into next year for a lot of people is what to expect from Cigars Daily. You know, every year since we've opened, I've had like a huge end of the year announcement. And it's always been something like, centered in and around cigars. Like year one, we had to move because we outgrew our space. You know, other announcements have been, we're launching American Viking cigars. Then we had to move again. Or we were launching CigarsDailyPlus.com, always trying to make sure that the Cigars Daily Nation was a place where you guys could enjoy and explore and grow your passion for cigars uh, with really no limits. And in 2022, I've got no massive announcements for you guys. I am going to continue working to produce the best damn cigar content online and providing you guys the best value in the cigar world that I possibly can. I will be dedicating the bulk of my time to those things. It's something that Jim and I talked about a long time ago. When we first started doing Cigars Daily, if some of you guys followed from the beginning, we used to sell like pipes and pipe tobaccos and stuff like that. And then, you know, the opportunity came up to get into all sorts of other things like CBD products and, you know, watches and all the kind of stuff that comes with it. And Jim and I said early on, we want to be great at cigars and not mediocre at a bunch of stuff. So this year, I don't have anything big and to clear and get out of the way. The Cigars Daily HQ 3.0 has been awesome for us. Cigars Daily Plus has been a place where thousands of people have gone to enjoy more out of our content and people are finding great value from Cigars Daily as well. So I want to do better at that this year rather than get myself into anything else. So I will be continuing to pump out videos and engage with you guys on the Cigars Daily Nation Facebook group and the, the at Cigars Daily official Instagram account on Twitter and in the comments of our videos. My goal is to continue working with manufacturers to make videos to help you guys continue to grow and find new blends that ignite your palate. So guys, I want to ask you, what are you looking for in 2022? Is there a cigar you're excited to see come out? Is there something you want to do with your own cigar collection? Are you looking for the new humidor? Or is there something about cigars that you haven't learned that you'd really like to? I'd be interested to hear that from you guys down there. And again, check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com because I'm always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.